Uh, let's praise the first one together. I have a mystery. I have a mystery. My God is always with me. It makes me so happy With every breath I sing He is Emmanuel He is forever with me I love Him all so me want to see as long as my God's always with me I will not fear because I know he'll be there to direct my way give me his strength today give me victory is always with me makes me so happy with all my soul I sing I hear the angels sing the angels give him glory the peace of God in me makes me want to sing as long as my God's always with me, I will not fear because I know He'll be there to direct my way. Give me strength today, give me victory. I look to Jesus, He gives me strength in everything I let Him have His way. He is my shepherd, what else would me when he is always with me I have I have a mystery my God is always with me it makes me so happy with all I see he is Emmanuel he is forever so dearly makes me want to see as long as my God's always with me I will not fear because I know he'll be better to right my way give me a strength today give me victory I look to Jesus he gives me strength in everything I let him have his way He is my shepherd, what else with me When he is always with me Dear God, we thank you May today's worship be one where we enjoy Emmanuel May it be one where we can truly enjoy the time of summit prayer, establishing the partisan that you absolutely desire. May we become the salt and the light. May we be able to truly be the watchman that you have placed us as. May we be able to truly shine that light and be that salt to the world so that the world may know that all people, all tribes, all nations, that 237 healing and that ministry of 237 healing and summit may know 
that it's only Jesus, Lord. Through today's worship, guard our hearts and our minds. May we be able to truly have, think about what kind of worship do I want to give to you today, Lord. May I be able to tr- receive true healing, and may I be able to become that summit that you absolutely desire. We thank you so much, and we pray all these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. All right, let's all stand up. Let's greet one another and say to each other, you are a watchman. All right, let's clap our hands. All right, we will give ourselves. We will give ourselves no rest till your kingdom comes on earth. We position watchmen on the wall. Now our prayers will flow like tea. For you shed your heart with us. God of heaven, on our knees we fall. Come down in power, reveal your heart again. Watching on the walls to see you looking, looking for a time of breakthrough. Break for your work to be free. All of the earth, all of the earth, we will give. We will give ourselves no rest till your kingdom comes on earth. We position watchmen. on the door of heaven, crying, crying for this generation, praying for your name to be known, all of the earth, watching, watching on the walls to see you, looking, looking for a time of breakthrough, praying for your word to be is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Oh, this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Rejoice in the Lord. Rejoice in the Lord. Celebrate the prayer.
presence of the Lord. He is worthy to be praised. Oh, celebrate the presence of the Lord. He is worthy to be praised. Rejoice in the Lord. Rejoice in the Lord. This is the day. This is the day. That the Lord has been, I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord. Let's do that again. This is the day. This is the day. That the Lord has made, I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made, I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day, hey, that the Lord has rejoice, rejoice. Benji. Let's all say, you are a watchman, Benji. You are a watchman, Benji. All right. Beautiful haircut, Benji. Jesus, every breath I take, I breathe in you. Every step I take, I take in you. You are my way, Jesus. Every breath I take, I breathe in you. Every, every move I make, I make in you. You make me move, Jesus. Every breath I take, I breathe. Amen, Addison. Every step I take, I take in you. You are my way, Jesus. Every Take I breathe, what's to the again? Every every move I make, I make in you. You make me move, Jesus. Every breath I take, I breathe in you. Every step I take, I take in you. You are my way, Jesus. Every breath I I breathe in you. Waves of mercy, waves of grace. Everywhere I look, I see. How can it be? All right, here we go. Every move, every move I make, I make in you. You make me move, Jesus. Every step I take, I take in you. Oh, I'm sorry. Every step I take, I take in you. You are my way, Jesus. Every breath I take, I breathe. One more time. Every move, every move I make, I make in you. You make me move, Jesus. Every breath I take, I breathe in you. Every step I take, I take in you. You are my way, Jesus. Every breath I, I breathe in you. Waves of mercy, waves of grace. Everywhere I look, I see. Your love has captured me. Oh my God, it's not. How can it be? All right, here we go. La 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 la. 
Jesus answered, I am the way, I am the truth, and the life, I'm the way, truth, and life. No one comes to the Father except through only me. There's no other way to me. Jesus, Jesus answered, I am the way, I am the truth, and the life, I'm the way, truth, and life. No one comes to the Father except through only me. There's no other way to me, God. Oh, oh, oh. I want to follow my Lord Jesus, who is the way to life. Oh, I want to give my praise to Jesus, He's the truth and life. He's the truth and life. He's the truth and life. Yes! Jesus answered, I am the way, I am the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through only me. There's no other way to. Oh, I want to follow my Lord Jesus, who is the way to life. Oh, I want to give my praise to Jesus. He's the truth and life. Jesus answered, I am the way, I am the truth and the life. I'm the way, truth and life. No one. to follow my Lord Jesus, who is the way to life. Oh, I want to give my praise to Jesus. He's the truth and life. Yeah! Jesus answered, I am the way, I am the truth and the life. I'm the way, truth and life. No one comes to the Father except the only me. There's no other way to be gone. Amen. Uh, you guys all may sit down. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. Okay. Once I got asked, okay, what kind of worship do I want to give today? Okay. So think about it. What kind of worship does God want to receive from me today? Seek ye first. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things shall be added unto you. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and His righteousness. And all these things shall be added unto you.
proceeds from the mouth of God. Hallelujah. 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 to you seek and it shall find knock and the door shall be opened unto you Come up and pray for us. Let us pray. Dear God, thank you for gathering us here today for this time of worship. Please let us look at our past so that we may be able to change uh, our present and future for the gospel. Um, and please let us realize that Satan is currently working so that uh, we may be able to be focused on you and just delete all of our unnecessary thoughts. Um, please bless Teacher Jensen with the double portion of the Holy Spirit so that he may be able to relay the accurate gospel to the remnants. In the name of Jesus Christ, pray. Amen. Thank you, Paul, for praying for us. I can't even get as low as Paul. Or maybe I can. All right. Let's all close our eyes. Let's fold our hands. Let's confess together the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, the creator of... suffered under Pontius Pilate, and was crucified, dead, and buried. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Universal Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Jesus Christ, name we pray. Sit up straight back up the back of the chairs. Let's see, who wants to lead deep breathing today? Who votes for? We'll do one of our older brothers, seventh or eighth grades. Oh, sister. Who votes for Chloe? Raise your hand. Who votes for Benji? Raise your hand. Who votes for Mino? Raise your hand. Well, okay. Who votes for Lydia? Raise your hand. Actually, she's not seventh. Who votes for Paul? Raise your hand. I think majority vote was Mino, right? All right, go for it. Breathe for five seconds. Oh. Wow.
Okay. And then once you're done reading, you click this down arrow. Okay. Inhale for five seconds. Even now the triune God is at work, always and forever. Even now that God is working his by His Spirit and Word, even now that Christ is getting rid of the three curses, disasters, how Satan accomplishes salvation. Even now, unseen to rise, the Holy Spirit is working upon you deeply in joy. Exhale for five seconds. Oh, ten seconds. Keep exhaling. Good, guys. Okay. It's not working. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> do I still have to do it? Uh, inhale for five seconds. What is arising right now? Your background is heaven, the time you spend in prayer is the time you bring God's kingdom here on earth. Even when you pray, to bring God's kingdom means while you're praying, you're invisible to our eyes, God mobilizes, mobilizes angels for his errands. Exhale for 10 seconds. Inhale for five seconds. You have amazing authority. You can break down background of Satan. I'm um, hell. You can bind Satan. You can break down forces of darkness. And then five great strengths will be made for you. Spiritual power, intellectual, mental power, physical power, financial power, and then manpower. Exhale for 10 seconds. Good, guys. And then there, you know, inhale for five seconds there is something more important than all of these not only your heart but your brain will be strengthened only then can you be a summit and then do well in your studies exhale inhale our heaven heaven our background by the mystery to try and guard and enjoy god's kingdom here on earth and then we'll go to heaven just wait for god's kingdom it will come wherever you go where wherever you go god's kingdom will come exhale <laughs> inhale hell you don't go to hell uh, you don't die but you go to hell but people are living a hellish life on earth earth having a background of hell and go to hell when they die bro satan he continues to follow you and determines your life and at the end drag you to, drags you people to hell what? <laughs> exhale <laughs> no okay inhale for five angels with the background of heaven angels are ministering god's work when you die they usher us to heaven Wherever we go, God mobilizes his angels. Exhale for 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nine, spiritual state. What's more important than answers is my spiritual state. This is where everything begins to be resolved. Help me to have a healthy spiritual state that rides the flow of the covenant and is filled with the Holy Spirit our ways. Help me to listen to the voice of God and not the words of people. Exhale. I forgot to say it. Church is the shadow of the throne of heaven, the path to which we get there. Remnants must meet leaders with the gospel, successful people with the gospel, and fellow workers with the gospel. Oh. <laughs> Exhale. Inhale for five seconds. 12 setting, I mean nine settings, the gospel. May God's image be revived inside of me. May it be filled with the breath of life and through your word may it restore the blessings of the Garden of Eden. Exhale. Nine. 
nine settings, evangelism, help me to become the remnant blessing of the throne of heaven, the transcendence of time and space, and the light of 237. Exhale. Oh, whoops. Okay, I'll get it next time. Help me to enjoy the unprecedented. Oh, inhale. Help me to enjoy the unprecedented and never repeating answers of the platform, watchtower, and antenna to save myself, my fields, and the church. Oh, exhale, exhale. Um, age of uh, three ages. Help me to receive the heavenly talent. Oh, <laughs> inhale, guys, inhale. Eight, three ages, help me to receive the heavenly talent, power, and mission to save the pastors, church officers, and remnants, and prepare for the ages of the three ages. Exhale. CVDIP. Restart. Okay. Inhale for five seconds. I <laughs> want CVDIP, help me to see the covenant, possess the vision, enjoy the dream, conquer with your image, and fulfill the practice in advance. Uh, exhale. Okay. You, you don't die, but you go to hell. <laughs> what? Would you say such a thing? Church that has peace and is being built up. Let's have a healthy spiritual state that succeeds in worship. That's like today's message today. We have ourselves, our bodies as a living sacrifice. Because we don't actually do sacrifice anymore, right? So how do we do living sacrifice? Like coming to worship. Fear of the Lord, correctly understand, correctly obey. Encouraged by the Holy Spirit, not things of the world, but from above. By God's word, 37 courtyard of the Gentiles. You go make disciples of all nations. Should we go make disciples of, what is it, softball, softball nations? May God take care of it. I hope they do break it. And then they have to buy us a better one. Marble table. I want a golden table. No. But Jesus is the Christ. Christian walk of faith. With us always. Healing choreo of prayer. Spiritual healing. Where is it? Where is Michael? Someone call him. Huh? Yeah, call him. Someone call him right now. Yeah. I think Mino's calling. He's playing. He could, it's okay. He could. He could play and take a phone call at the same time. Okay, point, point at me. Okay, one more ring. All right, hang up. Are we able to leave voicemail? No, I know. I will preach to good news to all nations. Signs and wonders will follow. God's with us always, seated on the throne. Summit, courtyard of the children. Save the posterity, you guys. God is the first priority. Teach to love the Lord with all of our heart, mind, soul, strength. Just like the one, two, three, four, five, seven remnants. Let's hold on to God's word, 393. Pray, hold on to God's word. Experience working of the Holy Spirit. Testify uniqueness of Christ. It's probably. It. It's, 
<laughs> it's underneath. I don't laugh. Jesus Christ, every single day. Today's message is the life of believers. Sorry, Paul, your head's cut off. The life of the believers. You finish? We have practice today? Zom, 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 zom. You tired? You want some coffee? What is going on? Olympiacos, Chicago 11. Tank Lyle. Rocket Lyle. Romans chapter 12, 1 through 2. One, two, two. one, two, one two. Romans 1 2 1 2. Mic check 1 2 1 2. Therefore. I urge you, brothers, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as living sacrifices, holy and pleasing to God. This is your spiritual act of worship. Do not conform any longer to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. Everyone has a Bible, right? All right, show me. Okay. Okay. Okay, where's your Bible? Okay, yeah, where is your Bible? Bible, Bible. That's Benji's Bible. <laughs> I gave that to him. You know what they all recognize? Ah, I should, we need to get you a better one. Hobby Lobby. Bible, Isaiah Bible. Johnny Bible. Rain Sisters Bible. Do you have Bibles at home? You do? We don't have to buy you Bibles? We don't have to steal you Bibles? Get Bibles, bring your Bibles. Today's, this month's lesson objective to have the rhythm of summit prayer to break down Satan's partisans. Wow, lots to write today, huh? Let's go tank Lyle. Lyle Lyle Crocodile. Oh, cool guy. He has his hand in his pocket. Oh, oh, he's going to smush the sergeant. Oh. Olympiacos, Chicago. Why is soccer? Soccer is a big, it's pretty popular these days, huh? You think you guys could get a career out of playing soccer? You guys going to be professional soccer players? Yeah. I don't know about that. That's like every athlete's dream. Everyone plays basketball because they want to make the NBA. But do you know how hard it is? It's like impossible. You have to be in different clubs, and then you have to have, it needs to be in your fate and destiny. And then you need to have connections. Usually their parents played. You guys are going to be in, what is it, FIFA? You're going to be in the World Cup? Yeah! All right, everybody wrote this down. I'm, I'm not going to tolerate goofing around today. Claire, sit correctly. Sit up. Oh, I thought you were not sitting up. Because you have a short torso. Some people have super long legs and a short body. Some people have super bo long body, short legs. Some people have both. Somebody, some people don't have both. I think you guys are pretty well proportioned. Last week we talked about Israel, AKA my past, present, future. You know how many people submitted their homework assignment this week? Just a handful. I don't think any boys did it besides Balak. 
Yeah. So uh, if you didn't do your homework, you have another week. It was my past, present, future jam board. Yeah, let's break down Satan's partisans. Satan's partisans are the 12 problems. We covered this. Uh, when did we cover this? No, Wednesday. You guys weren't paying attention? It's hard paying attention during Wednesday Zoom worship. Focus. You should be all the more focused at home. Cut it out. Break down Satan's strongholds. You guys getting too comfortable now? Don't get too comfortable. Don't, don't turn into an empty home. Break down Satan's parties. Fight spiritual battle. Break it, break it down. How can we break down Satan's partisan? We'll talk, we'll talk more about it today. There's some time. Why? Because we're holding on to Christ. Israel's past, full of disasters, slavery, captivity, colonization, wars, and then they became wandering nation. Answer every single time, Christ. We'll, we'll zoom past this. Zoom, zoom, zoom. They're present. Hey, God, God placed them in slavery, captivity, colonization, war, fugitive nations. Why? For the sake of evangelism and missions. Right, Emma? Number two? M2, Emma squared. Now we have three Emmas in, right in here. Oh, never mind. Emma. <laughs> that's not Emma squared. That's like Emma to the sixth power. It's all with Christ. Israel's future. Oh, World Evangelization 27 Healing Summit. I got to quickly pass my present. Where are you now? You're here today. Worship. God's so happy. Korea. East Korea. North Korea. Yeah. Yeah, it's on the east side of Korea. My future, our future is in God's hands. No worries. Are you guys worried about your future? Oh, oh, teacher Jinster, I want to be a FIFA super soccer star. I want to be the next Bancialdo Ronaldo. I want to be Lionel Mino. No, our future is in God's hands. So hold on to only the gospel. Don't lose hold of advantages and missions. Why do you live? Well, because my parents had me. Why do you live? Oh, well, I need to get some good grades. Why do you live? Oh, to make money. Why? Get a nice house so I could buy ponies. Why do you live? I don't know. <laughs> I'm going through midlife crisis. Why do you live? I don't know. I'm going through final life crisis. People don't know why they live. Do you? I hope God gives you, God allows you to find out. Why do you live? I don't know. I don't care. That's you. Hey, take the splinter, or the, what is that? Take the log out of your own eye. Don't stop, stop blaming each other. I was coaching a flag football game yesterday. The fifth, sixth graders always blaming each other. Hey, man, you, did, you didn't run the play. You didn't pass it right. You didn't catch Ugh, I yelled at them, and all the parents were laughing. Yeah, you tell them, coach. No oh, rascals. This month, let's focus on summit prayer. As we pray, we become spiritually mature. Summit. Are you spiritual, spiritually babies? No. You face a problem? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> no, problems? <laughs> God, what's your plan? You're going through a crisis. Boosh. Ah, cuckoo gaga. No, God, what's, what opportunity are you giving me? So I'm in prayer. Let's find ourselves in God. I don't know who I am. Ah. Am I boy? Am I girl? Am I donkey? Am I Shrek? People don't know who they are. And they're confused. This, 
America, many youths, children, they're confused. Are you confused? <laughs> May you find yourself in God. Non-believers, they meditate. Even in my school, they do the, what is it, calm classroom. Listen to the sound of the crickets. Chirp, 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 chirp. Listen to the sound of the gong. Dung, dung. Listen, try to feel your heartbeat. Dung, dung. Dung, dung. Dung, 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 right? They meditate. We do, we pray, right? They say, focus on your breath. Inhale. And exhale. They even have videos. Like, did you guys do um, Go Noodle? Go Noodle. And then they have like breathing exercises with the really, like this ball. Inhale. And exhale. Come on, children. Belly breathe. And exhale. Yeah, man, that's what I'm talking about. Religions, they, they do prayer, right? Muslims, they pray five times a day. They even promote it on their YouTube channel. Hey, like and subscribe. Yeah. Inshallah. Yallah Hakmud. Right? Pilgrims back in the day. Did you know there's still pilgrims and monks these days? Yeah. They're like, even in America, they live in like secluded like mountain in their own monastery. Pilgrim's progress. Early church members, they did holy meditation. We're just praying, right? Focus on your breathing while we focus on God's word. Let's, uh, and we'll be able to enjoy the spiritual facts. Know the spiritual facts. That adults don't even know. That kings and queens don't even know. Like, what is it? Chicago elected a new mayor, right? He's like, I'm going to solve problems. I'm going to solve crime. Because there's so many crime in Chicago. Yeah. Did, did I tell you about my teacher getting carjacked? Yeah. yeah. Uh, early in the morning, like before 6 a.m. Uh, no, on Friday. She drove her car. And she's like 80-something years old. And then a group of young people came. I, I don't know if they, how they look like. Maybe they had math. <laughs> give me your car. Give me your car. And she's like, oh. And they took the car. It was on the news, too. Look it up. Just search up my school name, and then you'll see it on the news. Yeah, famous. Oh, really? What's your school name? I can't tell you. Ah. Hey, go to Spain. Destruction. This world, destruction. Like Sodom and Gomorrah. Yeah, save the world. Don't be swept away by the world. Anybody watch that movie, Flushed Away, with the little mi the mouse? No. Mouse characters, they go into the toilet. Ah! Yeah, don't be flushed away by the world. Yeah, let's have a spiritual rhythm. Spiritual rhythm of prayer. Uh, let's be aware of three kingdoms. There's Satan's kingdom, there's the kingdom of this world, uh, there's, and then there's the kingdom of God. We belong to God's kingdom, right? Let's enjoy the mysteries of the unknown world, right? What we can't see is more important. Can you see oxygen? Can you see the oxygen molecules in the air? Yeah. We're learning about oxygens and our molecules and atoms in science class. Can you see it? No. No, but it's there. It's, it's important. Twelve problems unseen. Right? There's spiritual problems. People are born as children of Satan. Spiritual problems, mental problems, physical problems. These problems pass down to their family members. And then hell. Right? These are all spiritual problems. We need to have an unseen strength, spiritual strength. Right? What are you strengthened by? What strengthens you? Yesterday, now one of my eighth grade girls, she hurt her ankle while, while she was doing football. I'm like, oh, come here. And then we wrapped it up. And then she's, and I'm like, ah, you think you could play? And she's like, no, wait, let me eat some Pop-Tart. She was eating Pop-Tart. And then she starts running around. I'm like, wow. Pop-Tarts give you strength. And she's like, I'm good, coach. And then put me in. And she played the rest of the game. What? No, we got destroyed. But is Pop-Tart strength? Well, we need to have spiritual strength. It's, it's flag football. You have to pull it. It's not tackle. You don't even need pads. 
Let's hold on to God's word and then receive power from Christ. Satan. Satan built up his kingdom. How does Satan build up his kingdom? Well, he wants people to be separated from God and live a life of sin. Live. I pledge allegiance to the flag under the reign of Francis of America and to the republic of which I stand. And one nation under, one nation under Satan. Right? Let's not be. Wow. You, you, you swear to the, you guys swear to a flag every single day. I just do this. But then, when it says, one nation under God, I say, under God! <laughs> Alright, it's Satan. Genesis chapter 3, if you haven't read the Bible yet, Genesis chapter 3 is talking about the incident of the Garden of Eden, where they separated from God. It's all about me, 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 me. What do your teachers assign you when you go to school? Like the first day of school. Alright, alright, students, my name is Mrs. Beckmanow. Here is a graphic organizer please complete it and then we'll share with her, and then we'll post it in our classrooms tell me about yourself it's all about me 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 right but it's not about me 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 it's all about god genesis chapter six this is if you haven't read the bible i don't know what you're doing but genesis chapter six is talking about the age of nephilim it was so dark and wicked and evil back then and same thing repeats today it's physical things People only focus on physical things. What, what you eat. There some people, if you bother them while they eat, they get super angry. Yeah. I'm like, tch, tch, tch. hey, how's it going? Don't bother me. I'm eating. Or you know how like your mom or dad, uh, they, they take like a french fry off of the, each other's plate and they're like, what? Don't touch my food. I want a divorce. What? Physical things. Clothes. People argue all about clothes. Oh, man, cover your mouth. I don't want Caleb, Caleb virus. Genesis chapter 11. This is Tower of Babel. People built a huge tower for themselves. They're like, yeah, let's disobey God. God said scatter and conquer the world. No, let's gather together and build a tower and make a name for ourselves. Genesis chapter 11, yeah, it's talking about success. People are like, hey, work hard, train hard, then you'll be successful. Study hard, you'll be successful. Teachers are like, you need to get straight A's, and then you'll be successful. You need to go to good high school, and you'll be successful, right? You need to go to selective enrollment schools to be successful. You need to go to good college to be successful. All lies. They're lying. They think they're telling the truth. No, it's all lies. doesn't matter where you go. Are you holding on to the covenant or not? Does God have a reason to make you successful or not? It's all lies. Just because you have lots of money, does that mean you're more successful? You look at somebody like, let's say Paul. Paul, you guys go to drink bubble tea. Yeah, and then Emma's like, she looks in her purse. Oh, 76 cents. And then Paul takes out his wallet. Let me see, $126. And then I was like, wow, Paul is more successful than me. No! What are you talking about? It's probably his mom's money. He probably stole it from his mom. Right? Money is not success. That doesn't define success. Don't be tricked. Some people look down on people who have bad jobs. Like, there's, maybe you look down on the cafeteria lady. Oh, you're a lunch lady? You sc scoop food for me? Yeah, I'm better than you. What? What are you talking about? That's wrong. I, I feel like some more custodians, they're more successful than teachers or the bosses. No, I, I see it that way. We need to be able to respect everybody, right? Don't be tricked. X13, culture of darkness. Oh, culture these days is so dark. Who watches Netflix? Oh, if you look in the homepage of Netflix, all like horror movies, right, inappropriate things, Love Island, uh, a ghost, uh, uh, evil spirit, oh, a rise from the dead, or oh, exorcist. It's all dark, culture of darkness, inappropriate things too, right? <sighs> Mino's probably watching it all. <laughs> inappropriate things? 
What, mom? I'm just doing my research. <laughs> what? Culture of darkness. Acts chapter 16, this is, these are the words of the world. The world says, hey, do this, do that, you'll be successful. Do this, do that. No, don't be tricked. Don't be tricked by your parents too. Don't be tricked by your mama. Like, all right, you need to, you need to do this. You need to do that. Does that mean you have to be going get into a cat fight with your mama? No, no, no. But just know, it's, sometimes they don't tell us the truth. Sometimes they have different motives, right? I want my daughter to be successful so that I could, so my name will be glorified. <laughs> it's like competition with like Asian parents, right? Oh, my kid uh, went to Harvard. <laughs> oh, my kid is a superstar. My kid is this, my kid is that. But the kids, they hate the, they hate the parents. Oh, can't stand it. Can't wait to leave, right? Competitive Asian parents. Thankfully, my parents were not like that. Yeah. Right, we have to pray, pray for our parents. We need, to, we need to not be parents like that. Yeah. Yo, mama. Modern day idols, right? What's idols these days? Anything you put before God. Some people literally put idols, bef idols as their idols. The like K-pop idols as their idols. There was this girl in our track meet. She's like, are you Korean? Oh, yeah. I like K-pop. What? Okay. Well, what kind of K-pop do you like? A BTS. Oh. Wait, I think, I think one of them has the same name as me. Jin. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you speak Korean? She's like, oh, what was it? Hanguk Mao. Oh, you're pretty, you're better than me. Oh, calm down. Satan wants to bring up, build up his kingdom. Make, he, wants, he wants to have more kids, right? his children. Spiritual problems. Sometimes... They, people, kids, they see or hear things they're not supposed to see or hear. Right? They, sometimes they see ghosts. And then kids are more, they have better, better imagination. And then the parents are like, oh, that's just your imagination, honey. Sweetie Pooh, you need to stop watching these scary movies. It's influencing your brain. But they don't know that it's actually taking place. Torture problem, mental problems. Right? Some people are always depressed. Some people don't, some people are so stubborn, they don't want to, they don't even talk. Some people talk too much. Mental problem, they only care about their own whatever. Chronic conditions, physical illness. Is there any physical illnesses running through your family? Yeah. Sometimes there's cancer, sometimes there's throat cancer, sometimes there's butt cancer, sometimes there's, I don't know, diabetes, yeah. Sometimes there's high blood pressure. Sometimes there's unibrow. I don't know. Family drama, family problems, right? Some people, they don't know, but there's family problems. They're in, they're in family problems. Like there's a group, there's a family in my school, and then they're like, oh, my, my kids are sweethearts. It's all your fault. It's all the principal's fault. It's all the teacher's fault. But then they're like smoking in front of their kids. They're swearing in front of their kids. And then they're like, what? No, I'm a great parent. Oh, I'm a great parent. Beep, 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 beep. And the kids are just like, they're like, no, I'm great. I'm great parents. My family problems. They don't even know. It's going to affect the kiddos. Life like hell, and then they go to hell. When somebody was doing deep breathing today, and he read, go to hell. Who was that? Ah, Benji. Ah, Mino, do, Mino will do deep breathing next week. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna all go to Mino's house to wake him up. We'll drag him. We'll carry him. <laughs> he's too heavy. I think he's heavier than me. How much do you weigh? If you don't mind me asking. Wow, two centuries. Let's break down Satan's partisans. Break it, break it down. How can we break it down? Or how does Satan build up his partisans every time we argue? What are you doing? 
move over next to your brother. If he goofs around, fix his behavior. No. Yeah, scooch. When we follow our, follow our own thoughts, break it, break it down. Let's break it, break it down. Break down Satan's partisan. Doof. Through our summertime. What's so funny? This is a serious matter. How can we break down Satan's partisan? How to break down Satan's kingdom? Oh, only Christ. That's all. That's the only thing Christ, I mean, Satan is afraid of. Right? You know, like in scary movies, they're like, ah, holy water, in the name of Christ, the name of Christ compels you. And the evil spirits are like, whoa, and they're better. Yeah, even non-believers know this. But yeah, Satan's only afraid of Christ. So let's hold on to only Christ. Whenever you're having a hard time, whenever you're stressed, whenever, even when you're happy, just keep confessing in your, in your head, in your heart, Jesus is Christ. Answer to all problems. You know what? Jesus is Christ, no matter what. I have, a, I have an F? Oh, it's okay. Jesus is Christ. I have an A? Oh, yeah, Jesus is Christ. Things aren't taking place according to plan? Jesus is Christ. Things are taking place? Thank you, God. Jesus is Christ. Jesus is Christ all the time. Problem of sin? Answer is Christ, who destroys Satan's authority. The ark? How does it, what does a boat have to do with Christ? Enter inside of the ark and you'll live. Well, it's Christ, you'll live. When there was slavery, when the Jewish people were enslaved, answer was the Passover lamb, which signifies Christ again. When there were captives under Babylon, answer was Emmanuel, Jesus Christ. When they were colonized in Rome, answer was Jesus Christ. Wow. <laughs> Big head. Let's live a new life of discerning God's will. I got the armor from the Art Institute of Chicago. Because it's suntanned. I put in sunblock, that's why. Let's live a new life of discerning or figuring out what's God's good will. Let's give ourselves, our bodies, as living sacrifices. Right? The fact that you're here, we're living sacrifices. We're sacrificing, we're giving, offering our life to God. Let them be a holy living sacrifice. As we focus on God, that's giving our worship to God. Every time we worship, right, we're listening to the message right now. As we pray, as we praise, as we do offering, as we spend time with each other today, as we do Bible writing, Bible reading, as we eat lunch, as we play, worship. Give ourselves as living sacrifices. Do not conform to the pattern of the world. What do, what does, what do people do on the weekends, or like especially on the Lord's Day, on the sun, on Sunday? What do they do? Sports. Yeah, they do sports. Like li literally, they're playing sports right now in the rain. <laughs> right, softball. What else? Or uh, they go. They spend time with family. No, family. I need my precious family time. Family time is more important than God. Party. Party. <laughs> Pinata. <laughs> Yeah, people don't conform to the patterns of the world. Yeah, usually birthday parties and even graduations these days are on Sunday. Ah, Satan's probably just really happy. Then you'll be able to test and approve what God's will is. Keep asking God, God, what do you want? What's your will? God, what's your will? Don't copy the behavior and customs of the world. Don't copy non-believers. But let's be, we're a new creation in Christ. God changes the way we think through message time as we hold on to God's word. Some people forgot the Sunday message already. What was the Sunday message last week? Oh, yeah, past, present, future. Some people forget, though, right? Like, what's today? what was today's title? You cheated. You look at your notes. Don't think of yourselves higher than other people. Oh, I already know this. Oh, I'm better than you. No, man, be humble. Be humble before God because God could just take it away like this. But rather think of yourselves with sober judgment in accordance with the faith that God has distributed to each of you. Right? Have faith. Be humble. Even non-believers, they do that. 
Like Muslim people, they're very humble. Yeah, Muslim people, they're very humble. Because whatever, happen, whatever good happens to them, they give glory to Allah. Yeah. Inshallah. Right? But then, no, we we're humble before God. We stand before God. All of us, we have different talents and skills that God gave us, right? Some people are good in art. Some people are good in music. Some people are good at dancing. Some people are not good at dancing. Some people are good with technology. Some people are good with art. Some people are good with, I don't know what. Wow. Confidence. Some people are good with talking. Some people are good at speech. Some people are good at this and that, cleaning. So we have, we're just like a body has different parts, we're all part of Christ's body, right? It's kind of like a team, like, in, like a basketball team, soccer team, there's different positions, right? We have different positions and we form one team or one body in Christ. We have different gifts, right? We have different gifts. Oh, but the teacher's sister, I don't know what my talent is. Close the door. I don't know what my skill is. I don't know what to be when I grow up. Well, I, I could tell you your skill. So can your teachers. Sometimes your personality itself is a talent and a skill. Wow. If your gift is serving, right? Some people are good, with, good at serving others, right? Then let them serve. Some people's talent is teaching. Let them teach. Sometimes it's encouraging one another or leadership. Get it together. Whoosh. Taking responsibility, being kind. Those are all talents. We, have, we all have talents. No. Yes, you do. Love must be sincere. Hate what's evil and cling to what's good. Right? Focus on love. Do, you get, do we love each other here? Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, right? Well, love of Christ. Not just physical love. Oh, I love that person. I like her hairdo. I like her pink mohawk. I don't know. I don't know what you guys like. I love her. I love him. I love Christ. Love each other with genuine affection. Sometimes, what is it, Korean people, they don't show affection that well, right? They, they show affection in a different, tougher way. Do your parents hug you and kiss you and all that stuff? And take the delight in honoring each other up, right? Instead of, te instead of teasing one another. What, ha what, do we, what happened like two summers ago? What was the common noise or phrase during study camp. Right? The eighth, the eighth graders, well, actually they were like freshmen, they were like teasing each other. Yeah, who started it? Sam, Daniel, right? Michael. Don't, 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 don't copy them, right? They were, they were teasing each other. Don't, don't do that. Never be lacking in zeal, but keep your spiritual fervor serving the Lord, right? Rejoice in your hope. Be patient in tribulations. Be constantly in prayer. Rejoice always. Pray continually. When God's people are in need, be ready to help them. Always eager to practice hospitality. Mi casa es su casa. My home is your home, right? Treat each other like family members. Be respectful. Right? Invite each other to your homes and take care of one another. When Tear Jinster is homeless, please invite him to your home and give me food and clothing and shelter. I'll take it. I don't want it. Live a life not of this world, right? Not like non believers. Bless those who persecute you. Bless, bless. Don't curse. Oftentimes, like even though there were two, two, moms yesterday in, in our flag football game, they're always beep, 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 to my boss, right? Oh, principal, beep, 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 talking behind people's back. 
I'm like, no, 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 don't do that. Bless each other, don't curse. I am blessing you. Bless each other. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Weep with those who weep, right? To save them. What happens if, like, let's, let's say uh, Addie's mom passed away. <laughs> and then she's very sad. And everyone's like, whoa, 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 we shouldn't do that. We should empathize with her, right? Look, oh, no. No, 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 no. Hey, bless, rejoice with the, how about, it's, let's say Chloe wins lottery and she wins $12 million. Whoa, and everyone's like, what the, no, rejoice when you have to rejoice. Weep when you have to weep. Those are the opposite. Live in harmony. <laughs> harmony means grandma in Korean. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be proud, but be willing to associate with people of low position. Some people, they're like, I'm better than you. And they don't hang out with other people with, I don't know, lower positions. Right? Have you ever noticed that even in church? Let's say someone's like, I don't know, they're not that smart. They're not that rich. They have bad clothes, right? cheap clothes. And then the rich people, they sit together and they play with each other and talk with each other, but they don't associate with people of lower positions. Have you seen that? No. Do you see that in school sometimes? Yeah. yeah. Like there's this one girl, one of my students, she wears Skechers. <laughs> oh. And then all the other popular girls, they're wearing Jordans and Nikes. And they don't, they don't play with her that well, that much. Yeah, they don't talk to her. They make fun of her. And I'm like, no, 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 don't do that. So if any of us are wearing Skechers, no, don't tease. Skechers are good. Yeah. It is good. It's, they're making, they're, it's a comeback. Repay no one evil with evil, right? If someone's mean to you, should you be mean to them back? Let's say someone scratches your face. Whoops. And you get angry. And then again. She started it. Whoops. Even in my football game yesterday, the same girl who, ate, who injured her ankle and ate Pop-Tart and got better, that girl, the other, it's a co-ed football game, so the other team, it was a boy, and he swore at her. A B word. You B. And then my, gr my girl, she's like, what? You mo beep, 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 beep. And then the referee's like, whoa, brrr, coaches. And I'm like, ah, oh, what this time? And then they're like, I'm like, what happened? And she's like, he started, he called me a beep. And then the other guy's like, no, she started a beep. And then the other coach is like, oh, I'm sorry, coach. I'm like, ah, it's okay, our kids. And I pulled her aside. Doing good together. Shake it off. It's no big deal. Eat, eat your pop tart and feel better. <laughs> Got a coach. And then she went back out laughing. <laughs> yeah, she's one. She's she's very outgoing. You'll you'll see her in my videos on my channel. Okay. It is possible as far as it depends on you. Live at peace with everyone. One of your names are actually called peace in Korean. Ah Pyong. He's not here actually. Hey, don't repay evil with evil. Beloved. Don't have don't have revenge on people. God will take care of it. Like some people are like, one of you one of you are like, oh, there's people using our bench and our table outside. Should we take revenge? They don't have permission. Should we go throw eggs at them? No, 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 remnant. Let God take care of it. Let God take care of it. Don't take revenge. Why do you think I'm staring at you? Sit up. That's the second time you're laying down during worship. If pastor's here, or let's say president's here, Pastor you is here, are you going to lay down? No. If president's here, Pastor you is here, and he's wearing sketchers, would you make fun of him? 
I, I think somebody will. Hey, it's very, pas- it's, it's very comfortable and fashionable. But if your enemy is hungry, feed him. What? If he's thirsty, give him a drink. To your enemy, what? Because by doing so, you're, you're putting burning coals on his head. So, you know the saying, kill them with kindness? Yeah, kill them with kindness. You're the opposite. There was this little girl, little Ruby Bridges. She's going into the school, an all-white school, and there's the parents are throwing, because it was, there was lots of racism back then, discrimination. They were swearing and throwing stuff at little Ruby Bridges, a little African-American girl going into the school for the first time. And do you think she... And then fought back? No, no, no. Kill him with kindness. Yeah, the little rock nine, that's right. Do not be, don't be overcome by evil. Overcome evil with good. 24, 25, eternity with the things of God. Right? God's kingdom. Christians and worldly authorities. Right? We're Christians. And sometimes there's non-believers who are above us, right? Authorities, like our teachers, our, our bosses, the president, the governor, the mayor, the cops, the police, the governors, all those people, God appointed them, right? No, I don't like our president. Well, God appointed the president. I don't like our king. No, 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 God appointed the king. I don't like my teacher. Oftentimes, you, some boy remnants here and in high school, they're like, well, why do you have bad grades? Oh, it's the teacher's fault. I have a horrible teacher. The teacher can't teach well. No. God allowed that teacher to become your teacher. Right? So all of our even non-believer bosses, people above us, God appointed it. So we need to serve them just like we serve God. But if you fight the power and resist authority, well, you're actually going against God. Right? Don't fight the power. For rulers are not... <laughs> do what's good and you'll receive God's... I uh, can't read it. His approval. Right? Non-believers, we serve them just like as we serve, as if we serve God. Like, can you think of a remnant who served non-believing king and a non-believer governor? Daniel. Joseph. Same thing with Daniel. Yeah. We serve them just like we would serve God. For he is God's servant to do you good. But if, you're, if you do wrong, be afraid. He does not bear the sword for nothing, right? They don't have the power to like, punish us just for nothing. Right? He's God's servant. Like, say we get pulled over by the police. You're driving. Have you ever seen police light go off? And then you're like, oh, your parents start freaking out. Oh, what did I do? And then you put on the emergency light. Yeah, well, police even have authority. So serve God as we would serve others. Or serve others as we would serve God. Therefore, it's necessary to submit to those authorities, not only because of possible punishment, but also as a matter of conscience. That's why we pay taxes. Your, Your parents, we pay taxes. I already pay my taxes. We could do it online. When you, once you get a job, you have to submit your like, tax documents. Once you start working, they give you documents, the forms, you have to submit it. Turbo tax or other tax. Why? Because it's like missions. Right? Think of it as giving missions offering. God's in charge. Conquer with love. Owe no one anything except to love one another. For the one who loves another has fulfilled the law. Love each other. Right? The commandments, don't commit adultery, which don't cheat, don't murder, don't steal, don't covet, whatever other commands there may be, are summed up in this one command. Love your neighbor as yourself. Right? Love each other. Love does, love does no harm. Should we all say to one another, I love you? No. Three, two, one, go! 
Whoa, 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 whoa. One of you, like, actually caressed another person's cheek. What the? Paul. Panchi, make sure you wash your face later. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And we also need to understand the times that we're living in, right? And that knowing the time, that, that now it is high time to wake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than we believe, right? Now is the time to be saved. Now is the time to save. The night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light, right? The armor of light. Let's be, let us behave decently, as in the daytime, not in carousing and drunkenness, not in sexual morality and debauchery, not in dissension and jealousy. Let's not do what God doesn't like. Let's be clothed with Christ, right? Spiritually, figurative speaking. Don't actually wear an armor. <laughs> the mission of Christians. There's so many Christians in the book of Romans. There's Phoebe. There's Priscilla and Aquila. You don't have to write all these names, but mission. We have a mission. They all have a mission. Epinetus, Mary, Andronicus, and Junia, Ampliatus, Urbanus, and Stachys, Apelles, Aristobulus, Herodian, Narcissus, Tryphena and Tryphosa, Persis, Versus Rufus, Asyncritus, Phlegon, Hermes, Patrobas, Hermas, and the bros, Philologus, and Julia, Nurus, and his sister, Alumpas, Timothy, Lucius, Jason, Sosipater, Tertius, Gaius, some, some person said Gaius. Gaius, Erastus, Quartus, not quarter. Right? We have a secret personal, personal secret covenant. Maybe the chum didn't come yet. Ah, okay. Who has the birthmark? Ah. Okay, which one has it on the nose? Yeah, it is Casey. We have a personal secret covenant. We're a secret squad. We're a, we're a team, right? No, not, not Fortnite squad, secret squad. Oh, yeah, Michael, Lydia, Chloe, Bonjour. <laughs> We're not Freemasons. Like, there's Freemason lodges, like, in every, like, village or city. But then we're holy Masons, holy Masons. You know how Illuminati... Put it out. You know how Illuminati, they do this? Oh, the all-seeing eye, right? The third eye, Doctor Strange, Yu-Gi-Oh, right? So these are all Freemason, New Age, right? Illuminati to change the culture of the media into the second Tower of Babel movement. But we're holy Masons, Trinity, right? Father, Son, Spirit. And we're part of the remnant ministry. Only, ah, who's, who's scribbling on the screen? John. It says John. A rascal. Remember Pastor Russell was writing notes during message and Wednesday service? Only Jesus Christ. And then Johnny starts scribbling all over the face. And then Johnny always gets yelled at during Zoom worship. That's why he doesn't even come anymore. He got traumatized. Come, Wednesday worship. Pray, pray, pray you won't get yelled at. I know, I know. It's okay, I would have done the same thing. Right? Paul speaks about a hidden mystery from long ages past. The gospel, only Christ. 
Jesus is the Christ. And it's now revealed, Jesus is the Christ. And what's forevermore? Jesus is the Christ. Past, present, future, the only answer, Jesus is the Christ. We have received the heavenly mandate, a mandate, a command from above. What is our heavenly mandate from above? What's your mission from above? Zhang Myung. Heavenly mandate. Zhang Myung. We received God's calling. God called us. God called you and me. And God gave us a mission, right? What's our mission? Make disciples of all nations, spiritual healing, strengthen the discouraged, save the future generations, be a witness to the very ends of the earth. We have a reason to live. Do you still know, not know the reason you're alive? Hopefully God will help you discover it as you do your spiritual rhythm of 393. 393. If you, don't, if, you don't, if you still didn't memorize 393, ask your teachers. So that's our conclusion. I would write that down if I were you. Rhythm of 393. Rhythm of 393. We need to have a rhythm, a rhythm. Who watches basketball here? Like, you know how they, on the, in the free throw line, they practice shooting and then they shoot? They do the same thing over and over. Right? Rhythm. Yeah, and eating. All right, let's go over our homework. Let's see who submitted their homework last week. No future. All right, let's see. If you haven't been, you guys should be checking Google Classroom on a weekly basis. If you're not in Google Classroom and, and you need to be, ask your teacher and we'll add you. And then you also have to make your picks in character. Let's see. Oh, Mother's Day is coming up. Who is that fourth guy with the sunglasses and the afro? Michael? Okay. Who's in a wheelchair? <laughs> All right. Wait. Someone like looks super yellow. Who has who is that with neon skin? That's probably Dorothy. Where's Dor? Was there was there Korean was there Korean school yesterday? Oh. How about uh, Summit School? Was Door there yesterday? Uh. All right, yeah, last week was Jamboard. Let's see. Emma did her homework. Past, nightmare, saying bad stuff at school. Hey, teacher. Teacher's like, all right, children, what's one plus one? Oh, I know. Beep. Uh, that's her past. Present. Praying for my future to be an evangelist. Future, no future. <laughs> There's nothing in there. Okay. What is this, Caleb? My past, my present, my future. Evangelist. What is this, Caitlin? I was very small and baby, so I don't know much. Okay. Yeah, do all things. Future. What is it? Hey, it's okay. Big vessel. Both of you. My past, <laughs> emotional wreck. My present, summertime. My future, 2022. That's past. Oh, it's yours. Oh, well, world evangelization. I don't know who made this. Who started this? Oh, Casey. Okay. Oh, I'll think about it. No, we still have to, I think you have to record a little bit more for our music video. Addy, my past crying problems, bored during summertime, my present praying to shine the light in my field. What's with all these Peppa Pigs? God's future, my future, world evangelization, teach younger remnants, got that right. Homework this week. Sit up. Third time I'm telling you. Homework this week is to notify your teacher if you will or will not be attending remnant worships ahead of time. That's trained to be classy and respectful remnants. 37 Healing Summit, yeah. So if, you're, if you can't make it to Wednesday or Friday worship or Sunday worship, post it in the Google, post it in the Google chat room or Kakao talk us or message us or FaceTime us or call us. 
Come to think of it, none of you, none of, none of you guys call your teachers. Call us and then see how we're doing. Call us. If you call, then I'll give you extra credit. Sure. And then, what, let's say you are going to make it to Wednesday or Friday or Sunday worship. Then say, notify us and say, oh, see you soon. See you soon, boy. <laughs> what? I always take attendance. Yearbook is proof of who attended or not. Some people are not even in the yearbook, only on Sundays. That means you were absent Wednesday, Friday. I want to throw you out the window so bad right now. But I love you. Hey, it's for horses. Let us pray for Belarus and Bosnia. Belarus, Orthodox. Bosnia, mostly Islam. Islam, which is Muslim. Let us pray for these two nations, and maybe we'll meet somebody from Belarus or Bosnia this week. Three, two, one. Dear God, may you bless Belarus and Bosnia so that the gospel may enter and revive these nations. May disciples arise, shine the light of the gospel, and establish your kingdom there. In the name of Jesus Christ we pray. Amen.